have a monkey in your pants? Right there folks, Monkey Spots 5000 here. Drinking Pepsi Max Cherry back with another video. It's a bit of a rarity, I suppose. A video for me nowadays. Hey, um, but it's earlyish Sunday morning. I thought instead of lying in my pet, I'll get up and make a video. And it sounds very echoey in here. I've not been here for a little while. But my memory card's quite full, and I've got about 13 minutes to make this video, which should be plenty enough. But <clears throat> where have I been? Where's my videos been? Um, let me see. This week, I've been working. A lot. Um, the previous week I was in Germany for work and the week before that I had suspected food poisoning. Joy! Um, I was basically pretty um, <coughs> fucked for the week. Um, went to the, ended up going to the doctors near the end of the week because what was going on he said his best guess would be suspected food poisoning. Whether it was or it wasn't I do not know. I do sort of have other sort of stomachy type issues, nothing serious. It could have been something to do with that, but he said food poisoning, so food poisoning is what it is. That's where I've been, so I better get cracking on. Like I said, I've only got um, 12 minutes and 41 seconds left. But it's a bit of a pickups video is what it is. Um, one mm, modern slash retro item and a whole bunch of PlayStation 4 games I went a little bit crazy, I suppose. But um, the first item, uh, it was something that was out or um, advertised quite a little while ago. I pre-ordered it at the time from Zavi. Other YouTube friends of mine will know exactly where I'm going here. Um, that item was released. Nothing that came from Zavi. No emails or anything like that. Checked order. It said um, it's still processing. <laughs> something like that. Apparently they're getting trouble, having issues getting stock of the item. No messing about, this is the item, are we in focus? Yes, it's on the camera, yes. The Nintendo, um, the NES Mini Classic, the Nintendo Classic Mini, is what it says on the box, I suppose, is what the item is. So Zavi fucked up and let everybody down, and then there was like stories, oh, I'll come back in stock, etc., etc. And then, just I think maybe last week, Zavi sent an email and basically went, boom, cancelled order, which they've done to a lot of people that I know, because um, I think we all ordered it from there because we found a discount code at the time, but... Um, whether Zavi sold more than what they had or they've had genuine stock issues from Nintendo, I do not know. It's Nintendo doing what Nintendo always does. They release something, very limited amounts. They can't be that stupid that they don't know how many people are going to want it. And then you get a bit of hype building up. And then when it comes back in stock, everybody wants it. But also scalpers jump on board, which I'll get on to. So um, I was sort of holding off for Zavi, thinking I'll get one obviously sometime this month when they get more stock etc which obviously didn't happen um, due to the email that I received saying that they're going to have no stock or did they just cancel the orders and then I caught wind, I think it was on some Facebook group that Argos had some in stock and I was like what? So I was, I was in bed I think one morning checking Argos and I was like oh no nah, that one's got one in stock, it's quite far away, I get way away actually and a couple of minutes I check again then some other random stores were getting them in stock so where did I get them from? I I, but they weren't letting you do in the normal um, reserve and just pick up, you had to actually pay for it online and then you'd get it in store so my local store didn't have any I think but I ordered two I'm not a scalper, I'll get onto it well, semi is but not, but I was kind of trying to be nice I ordered two from there and I paid for them, they got delivered to my local store and then I found another store which is about an hour away from me and I think got three from there um, so I had to drive over there and get them, so I had five in total. Um, one was for me, which is down here, and um, I also put feelers out to a couple of YouTube friends of mine, um, and I offered a couple of them to basically the same price that I paid for it, which was 49 99 which is the retail price, plus postage, basically. So one was for me, um, I gave two to YouTube friends for cost price, and I did be a little bit naughty scalperish, but... <laughs> And I sold two on eBay for about £100 each and they're still on eBay being sold. The, these machines are for about that much money, which is um, it's crazy, but it's the sort of hype that's built up. So if you want a Nintendo Switch next year, actually, um, order one, even if you're not too sure. Because Nintendo being Nintendo, remember the Wii? There'll be like no stock and you'll get fucked and if you want it you'll have to um, basically pay way over the odds just to get your hands on one, so order one. 
is what I'm saying. But I still saw people buying like 10, 20, 50 of these from like shops to sell them online. I'm not that kind of person. I thought there was an opportunity there. I get one for myself, get two for a couple of friends, and there was another two, two I think was the most the shop had, so I just got them. Don't hate me. Anyway, so Nintendo, um, Nintendo Classic Mini, I've not opened it, you know that. I'm really sorry if you're one of these people out there that, oh, the box is a little bit dinked at the side, I never noticed that, not major. I'm really sorry if you're one of these people out there that really, really wants one and would want this to play it, but I've not opened it and I'm not sure if I am going to open it, to be honest with you. Not for any reason, I'm not going to resell it or anything like that, but I, I got um, a Ghostbusters Ecto-1 Lego a couple of years ago. Boxes like this big, it's up there, but I can't be bothered to move. And I've not opened that either, so... I've not opened it, I've seen some videos on it, it looks quite good, it looks quite impressive and um, the stories of it being the mini Famicom version being hacked which is quite interesting, interesting to see what they do with it um, a big downside with this is obviously the controller cable length is teeny teeny tiny tiny short but you can get um, extension cords for them but it's good, 30 games on it, a lot of Nintendo games I've never played but realistically if I want to play them um, I will emulate them to be fair, which is basically what this is. So I'm quite happy for now to keep this, um, it's not sealed because they don't come sealed, but to keep it in its box. It's more of a, a collector's piece for me, if you like. Um, I don't plan on selling it. I could sell it now and still make, I think I've seen them sell for £120, etc. Um, I could sell it now and make a bit of money on it, but I'm just going to keep it and I'm going to keep it boxed. Like I said, I'm sorry if you're one of these people that desperately wants one. And you'd love one to play it, but it's just the way it works, unfortunately. Um, I'm just going to keep it boxed. Um, yeah, so that's that. Interesting little thing is what it is. Um, 30 games, but you can get a Raspberry Pi that could do a lot more. And I'll maybe get, I'll, I'm trying, like, I got the PC here, totally going off topic. And I sold the ridiculously expensive monitor that I had. This is just a 1080p monitor, and I sold the graphics card because I wasn't using it. I was playing primarily on the PS4. Hardly using the PC apart from making videos and doing work if I'm working from home. So I'm looking at getting some sort of emulation set up for the living room. Um, this is going way off topic. This is what happens when I don't make a video for a while. Couple options I've got. How many? I've got six minutes left. I may have to like cut this and uh, do it in two parts and stick it together. Couple options for the living room. I've got the Xbox original, which I can have modded because I gave mine to somebody. Um, a Raspberry Pi. Or I'm thinking of um, possibly getting a mini ITX motherboard and case from a PC, um, getting a cheap graphics card that would be needed for some emulation and just stick it in a tiny case and sticking that in the living room. Um, I do not know, I do not know, I do not know. I'm enjoying playing games in the living room. My bum hurts. Ah, I, bet, I suppose I should explain that, eh? You'd be wondering what's going on. I think I mentioned, I did mention, must have been about a month ago, six weeks ago, eight weeks ago, I fell off a mountain bike. Hurt my arse, still hurts. Anyway, pickups, because we've only got about six minutes left, people. Um, five minutes, 41 seconds, actually. I'm feeling the pressure, my words are speeding up. And drink. So, yeah, and there's emulation set up in the living room. I'll maybe talk about that more in another video, but I really want to get this done because I cannot be bothered to um, stop the camera, delete a file, stick it, blah. PS4 pickups is what it is. Now, quite a few, I was in, can't remember what it's called. Granger Games, Game Trader what it is, in the local town the day that I was picking up this. Um, and I got some games, um, quite reasonable price for second hand games, first hand games. New games, ridiculous. So I got Far Cry 4 and Far Cry 5 Primal. Um, played Far Cry 3, loved it. I played a tiny bit of Far Cry 4 on the PC. Um, so yeah, it was a decent price for a pair of them, so I got that. And by the way, I've got a PS4 Pro and a 4K TV. One of my friends says, why did I not tell him? I'm sure I said it in a video. So there you go. Right, I don't know how I'm going to do this. It's just going to be all bits and bobs. Um, Watch Dogs 2. Next game, um, looks quite interesting. Played a bit of the first one, I did like it. Still to play, as you can see, it's sealed. Um, no Man's Sky. Remember that video I done saying No Man's Boar? Just checking the time, four minutes. <laughs> Pressure. Um, it was £12, and there have been recent updates with base building, so I thought, I'm going to give it another try, is what I'm going to do. Um, World of Final Fantasy, looks quite interesting. Pokemon-esque, 
little cutesy tiny people with giant heads. Ah, looks interesting, is what I'll say. Um, I think this was a Black Friday deal, Grand Theft Auto V, a game that's still holding its price, whether it's new or second hand, but got a very, very good price for it, um, Black Friday. Probably one of the only few things I bought Black Friday. So, that. Um, I mentioned in one of my other videos that I wanted to pick this up. A game that's always intrigued me. I think I played a tiny bit of it on emulation once. But it's Final Fantasy X and X2 or XX2. Um, checking the time. There's rumours next year actually that Square Enix are going to release Final Fantasy 1 to 9 on one disc for the PS4 and then there's going to be a special version which has got this and 13. That's intriguing me. Next game, Final Fantasy 15. Loving it. Um, this is the game I'm currently currently playing, hence why some of the, a lot of these are still sealed. Um, about 10 hours into it and gorgeous looking game and it's quite interesting. The combat's fine, it's um, real time combat as opposed to turn based, but it's quite good. This game, Homefront of the Revolution, I think it got panned. It was ridiculous, ridiculously cheap. Checking my time, 2 minutes 51 seconds. But I do love FPS games, so unless it's an absolute fucking ball ache of a nightmare, I will most probably enjoy it for the price. I was happy enough. Next game, another one which was ridiculously cheap. Look at all these sealed games. It's turning into when I first when I had the Xbox 360 originally. Um, I remember when I sold it, I had loads of sealed games. Maybe the same will happen. Drive Club looks like a gorgeous game. Never played it. Um, next game, Ratchet and Clank. Um, PS4 Pro support looks absolutely amazing um, it's supposed to be quite a good game so look forward to trying that out next game Darksiders, I played this on the Xbox 360 now I'm going to get the second one of this as well um, but I liked it, it's zelda esque ish I suppose but I really liked the Xbox 360, I never ever completed it but um, it was quite cheap and when I heard that it was coming out for the PS4 I thought I'm going to have to get it next game I'm not even saying where I'm getting these from now. Some were from online places, some were from that um, that shop that I mentioned a couple of minutes ago. Bloodborne, this is from the shop that I mentioned, not to be sold separately, it was obviously part of a bundle. Played it a little bit, when I first had a PS4, want to get back into it. Next one, um, quite cheap, second hand it was, The Division. Played it a bit actually, not this time round, but ages ago. I quite enjoyed it, um, I know it's had some recent updates, etc. Uh, but for the price, I thought, yeah, I'll get that. Now, I think this one was also a Black Friday deal. It was actually, it was dead cheap. Uh, Deus Ex, I want to always say Juice X. Not like drinky juice, but like tennis juice, maybe. So, I don't know, no. Juice X, Mankind Divided. Um, yeah, looks interesting. Mankind Cup of Tea. And finally, this game just appeared... Friday, a couple of days ago. Friday means nothing to you, depending on when you're watching this, but a couple of days ago. 54 seconds. Um, the Last Guardian. Never played Ico, never played Shadow of the Colossus, but um, I know of them. I know what they are. This game looks very, very interesting. Um, so I had to get it, basically. I think this is all the games I'm getting this year, because the year's nearly over. Some new games, good games coming next year as well. 30 seconds. How'd you like them apples? Done. Bish, bosh, 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 bish. But, uh, there we go then, folks. That's all from me. How many seconds are going to take me to drink juice? A couple. Uh, as always, uh, fuck balls. I forgot what I say at the end of my videos. It's been so long. As always, thank you very much for me. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And I've got 11, 10 seconds, 9, 8. I'm just going to keep going. 7, 6. I'll catch you next time. 4, 3, 2, 1. Are we finished? Do you have a monkey in your pants?